So with all due respect to the awesome guests I've had on my podcast in recent months, this week's guest was definitely my favorite. See, I interviewed my daughter. She's 12 now, but when she was 9, she started her own dog walking business. And between the age of 9 and 12, she has turned that into a profitable money-making enterprise. And on my podcast, she talks about two valuable lessons she has learned. Two lessons that people who come to me who are 40 and 50 years old have yet to learn. And by the way, some of them resist learning to this day. The first lesson was that she wasn't afraid to take her passion animals and turn it into a money-making business. There are people out there who are so afraid to do that. They're trapped in a workplace, a career, a job, right? They have an idea for a business, but they're too afraid to go out and pursue it. They're afraid they don't have the right experience. They're afraid they don't have the right degree, right? I asked my daughter, I said, has anyone ever asked you what your college degree is for providing that service? No. She goes out, she provides value to her customers. She had an idea and she went for it. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two is she has learned that when she discounts her product or services, she devalues her product or service. She has learned that the hard way. When she offers discounts to people who may be family friends, she learns that she doesn't bring her her A game, they devalue the service they're providing, she becomes miserable, right? That's when you start building a prison instead of a business. When you start taking too many clients who don't pay you enough, you feel devalued, right? And it's not something that leaves you fulfilled, that leaves you passionate about the business you started and the service you're providing to people. So I urge you, there's a link in the comments here, check out this podcast. It was my favorite lessons that you can learn from a 12 year old entrepreneur who just happens to be my wonderful daughter, Anna. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.